Hello to all our viewers from around the globe. My name is Silvia Romano and I am the Head of International Affairs for Centro Studi Galileo. Today, I have the pleasure to interview Francesco Mastrapasqua, Institutional Affairs Manager for EPTA Refrigeration, Platinum Partner of Centro Studi Galileo. Hi, Francesco, and thank you for being with us. Hi, good morning, Hi. Silvia, and thank you very much for inviting me. So let us go straight to the core and let me ask you the first question. You have recently presented in CSG webinar the importance of eco-design and eco-labeling. While we invite all viewers to listen to your thorough presentation in the webinar, could you please summarize the main implications and most important things to take into consideration? Well, uh, the two regulations, uh, eco-design and energy labeling, are two key reg regulations in Europe because they are essential, they are very important uh, to make our stores progress into the direction of energy saving. The eco-design regulation sets minimum energy efficiency requirements for the products that can circulate in the European market, whereas the energy labeling is the obligation, means the obligation for the manufacturer to deliver all its products uh, with the energy labels, with the rating the energy class and the energy consumption of the product. So for the first time, these two obligations are applied together to our industry, the commercial refrigeration. And this testifies the efforts and the attention that we have to put on energy saving for our stores. What changes is uh, it's basically changing a lot because for the first time, our clients are able to compare different products which appear to be similar, but of course, the different technologies apply the lead to different energy savings and the customers are able for the first time to compare the energy levels and compare products and decide also driven to energy saving so as we have seen on many different products in the house of the refrigeration for example or electronics or any other any other product which is already uh, with energy levels, we have seen a strong progression to better and better products. The clients are more and more driven to the highest classes, A and B classes, and uh, practically little by little abandon the lower classes, so the worst products. And this means that the whole market, the whole market is progressing in the direction of energy saving. We have to be very conscious of this opportunity now. And this at the same time means that all the companies, the providers of these technologies will be more and more involved and keen on developing and innovate their products in the direction of energy saving. So this is uh, uh, the overall effect that is expected uh, since uh, uh, Monday next week, actually, when these two regulations will start to be adopted. It was long expected, now is the time ready to start, so we welcome this new situation and we as a manufacturer will do our best, of course, to improve the efficiency of our products and deliver the best classes. However, it is very important to note that at the beginning, uh, due to the high levels required to get the A and B class products, of course, uh, in the initial scenario, these two classes will be practically empty and they will be little by little populated with innovation and with new, better products appearing in the market that will little by little populate the A and B classes so that in the end, uh, we imagine a future when all of our products uh, will be A class and our clients will be happy to buy the best classes. This is what we expect. Very, very important. Thank you for this overview and also for the excellent service that you are providing to the market. So if you allow me, I will go with the second question, which says, uh, considering your role as institutional affairs manager for EPTA, could you please give us a brief explanation how the Green New Deal impacts on refrigeration and how we should best prepare the HVACNR workers? Well, the Green New Deal is a milestone, is uh, transforming uh, all of the uh, markets and products which are consuming energy and uh, uh, making greenhouse gas emissions, including commercial refrigeration, of course. The Green New Deal is the final goal to be the first climate neutral continent in the world, Europe, by 2050. 
To do that, of course, we have to carefully look at all the emissions, the greenhouse gas emissions coming from our industry and from our activity, of course. This has to do with the improvement of technologies and uh, let me say also with uh, changing our daily habits. Saving energy depends on all of us. So we can do much, uh, each one of us, to reach uh, these important goals. Our industry is uh, affected by the uh, New Deal because, uh, uh, first of all, there is a strong progression towards natural refrigerants. As you know, the F-gas regulation is in place in Europe since years. And now we've reached a point of, uh, uh, let's say, a result that uh, in this uh, uh, next two years, we will review the F-gas regulation, raising its ambition and uh, selecting our technologies even more than before, so that uh, more and more natural refrigerants will be protagonists in the scene of commercial refrigeration. We are doing a lot, we're investing a lot in new technologies. We've established a good situation where these uh, natural refrigerants like CO2 and propane are largely widely available in the market, coming, of course, uh, uh, as a privileged solution. For example, EPTA has uh, launched in the last few years in Europe its FTE system, full transcritical efficiency, and ETE, so extreme temperature efficiency products, which are suitable to get the best efficiency from CO2 refrigeration at uh, all uh, market temperatures in all markets in any climate situation in the world. The second point is, of course, strictly connected with energy saving. So greenhouse gas emissions can be cut also using better products, more efficient products. And this is where the energy labeling and the eco design come in action as essential filters and uh, key performance indicators to address our markets more and more for the best products. And the combined effect is, of course, a, a dramatic cut in the greenhouse gas emissions, what is expected in the market. What can we do to roll out these technologies even faster? Let me say faster and faster. Fast is never enough. We have to do much faster than, than, than we are doing, of course, to reach the final goal. We have to help all service companies all technicians, all the people in the field to understand deep in detail all the potential of these technologies and how to exploit them at the best. So professional training and information is essential, is key in the process to turn our technologies to, to green. So we have to, to work hard, we have to do more, and we will do more and more in the future for this. Thank you very much, Francesco. Thank you for this thorough explanation. And of course, thanks also to our partnership between EPTA and Centro Studi Galileo. We are working in this direction. So we are very happy about this. Thank you, Silvia. Congratulations to Centro Studi Galileo because we are doing, you're doing a great job and we are happy to be partners. So working together is the key for a successful future. Thank you very much and thank you for also for the, the audience for listening. Thank you. So bye to everyone. Thank you again, Francesco. Bye.